This is the second technique I'm demonstrating fighting from the bind. So John and I will be starting from our neutral bind position, crossed at the middle, and demonstrating a technique from Claris Lutigeris. Uh, in this case, what I'm doing is the counterbind and step. What I do is to counterbind, I push down slightly on John's sword. It's very important. I'm pushing him slightly offline and downward, but I don't bring my sword lower than being horizontal. If I do that, then I'm actually pushing his sword into a position where I'm going to walk onto his point. I just want to control and contain his sword without pushing it completely out of the way. So I counterbind. I've now opened up his buckler as, a, as a, a target that I can hit. So I have counterbound. I now step straight in with my buckler and I pin his sword and buckler to his chest. From here, I can do whatever I want. I can cut him, I can stab him, I can kick him. It doesn't really matter. This is the actual technique. A couple of little details about this. This works when John keeps his sword and buckler together, which he should be doing because he's trying to protect his hands. If he moves them apart, then uh, come to the back to the neutral bind. From the neutral bind, as I counterbind, if John's hand goes down further from his buckler, then when I try and target his buckler, oh, I'm not catching his sword. His sword is open. I shouldn't be doing this in that case. Once I push down, if John's sword hand comes down, then I should be cutting to his arm or his arm here. He should be covering. If he lowers his sword tip and keeps his hands higher than I can usefully strike, I have two options. I can turn my hand like this. I can also do that against a, a much taller or stronger opposition, or an opponent. And uh, from here, I get a better angle downwards to get that pin. The other option that I have is that I can separate the sword and shield. When it says separate the sword and shield in the manuscript, it does not mean push them apart. It means go through the opening. So from the neutral bind, I counterbind. John's sword point goes low and his hands are high. I stab through this position. That's a separate technique. All right, so we're going to switch sides and show the shield knot from the other side. So from our neutral bind again, I counterbind, pushing his sword slightly offline. I step in, pin his sword and buckler, and I stab him in the face. 